Welcome to Kablam. Kablam's the biggest retailer in this galaxy. This came to me in a delivery. A man is missing, and I don't think he's the first. I might start to suspect that you're responsible. Welcome to SL Productions and my review to Doctor Who Series 11, Episode 7, Keplam. Now this episode just aired on BBC One and BBC One HD. And in my opinion, is one of the best episodes in the series so far. I didn't think it was going to be one of my favourite episodes. However, once I watched it, I realised how good the plot was and I just really enjoyed this episode. It felt very enjoyable, this episode. So yes, what was the plot of this episode? So yeah, the episode opens in the TARDIS and the Doctor receives affairs from this online retailer, Kilplam, which is basically the Amazon version of space, basically. It's the space version of Amazon. So the Doctor receives this fez. However, on the little card, it says, help me. And this help me thing was sent by the system because someone in Kaplam was plotting to send all this explosive bubble wrap to loads of customers to give robots a bad name. There's only 10% of people in the world, well, in the planet which Kaplam was near, had jobs. So yeah, basically this guy wanted to give robots a bad name so workers had better rights. So yeah, that was basically the general plot of this episode where Doctor and her companions go undercover in this massive warehouse retailer kind of place. So yeah, quite a good setting and quite a good plot in my opinion. So yeah, what did I like about this episode? So the first thing I liked was the guest stars. The guest stars in this story I thought were really good. Really did like Lee Mack's character. I thought Lee Mack's character was great. Very similar acting to his character in Not Going Out. So yeah, it is a bit clear that Lee Mack isn't the greatest actor. However, I really did like his funny scenes and stuff like that. So yeah, Lee Mack was great in this episode. The woman on Broadchurch was great, as well as all the other uh, guest stars in the story. Great plot twist with the cleaner turning out to be the villain. Everyone thought it was the big boss, but it turned out he was a goodie in the end and was only investigating what was going on. So yeah, that was a really good plot twist in the story. I wasn't expecting that. And yeah, moving on, the message in this Doctor Who story was great, really did like the message about high street retailers and artificial intelligence taking over our jobs. So yeah, really did like that message that robots and artificial intelligence and online delivery was taking people out of jobs because there has been an issue recently with loads of high street shops closing down because of things like Amazon and eBay. So yeah, that was a great message in this story. And also the setting, I really did like the setting. I thought it was a really cool and different setting. Being set on this massive warehouse planet kind of thing, I thought that setting was great. So yeah, really did like the setting in this story as well. But what did I not like about this episode? So yeah, the first thing I didn't like about this episode was the CGI. I thought the CGI looked a bit cheap in places. Firstly, when the Doctor arrived on Kaplam, it reminded me a bit of Revelation of the Daleks. And of course, Revelation of the Daleks was around 30 years ago now. So if it reminded me of that, that basically tells you that the CGI, in my opinion, was really bad at the beginning of this episode. It did get a bit better, but I thought the CGI overall was pretty bad. For example, on the conveyor belt scene, I thought that looked really cheap with all the conveyor belts. It looked like it was from 2005, in my opinion. It reminded me a bit of the enemy of the world, not the enemy of the world, the end of the world, when the Doctor was there with space in the background. It just looked fake, I think, with all the conveyor belts. So yeah, I didn't like the CGI in this episode. Also, didn't like the rush, co rush conclusion. Thought the conclusion was quite rushed, in my opinion. They had a lot of build-up and quite a bit of resolution but then the conclusion was very rushed in my opinion it was just the doctor blowing up all these robots so yeah the doctor a few episodes ago didn't uh said that she didn't like blowing up stuff and stuff like that and then in this episode she blows loads of robots up you know she was against killing robots in the ghost monument and now she's blowing them up so yeah the doctor a bit inconsistent again. So yeah, that is another negative. Also, the music in this episode I thought was a bit too similar. You know when Murray Gold was um, composer for Doctor Who, the music seemed to be a lot different, but at the moment, the music feels similar throughout the episodes. So yeah, I think Sengul could try and do some more 
variety of music. I think I think you should do more of a variety of music. So yeah, finally, my final negative was the garden. You know, the massive leisure place where all the workers hung out. I thought that just looked a bit weird in my opinion. It just didn't look right. I don't know why. It just didn't look right. So yes, Part 50 YouTubers 2018 Part 3. Where is that? I have filmed it. But I'm uploading it tomorrow, as I haven't had time to edit it, I've had a really busy weekend. So yes, it will be out tomorrow, and my episode preview for episode 8 will be out on Tuesday. So yes, until the next time, goodbye!